Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter video. Um, I need a bit of a filler, because I'm working on getting everything together for the uh, finishing the, the cupcake corner dolls for you guys. Anyway, what is that? Anyway, um, two things I wanna talk to you guys about. One of them is I wanna give a special little shout out to someone I met on eBay that has been a huge help to me. I know you guys have heard me talk a little bit about uh, something that I'm kind of in the works with, um, with a gaming channel, but not geared to like gamers, but more geared to like a crocheter that wants to listen to something while they're crocheting and not crochet. Anyway, so I have mentioned that a little bit, um, and I kind of started a collection of the vintage video games from when I had that I had when I was a kid or that my mom had. And I met this guy on eBay, and I want to tell you guys, he has been the biggest help to me. And he's been so nice and so polite. Because, I mean, a lot of the times you buy something on the internet, you guys know how that goes. People are mean and rude and tell you that things are guaranteed to work, and you get it, and it doesn't work, and things like that. But anyway, I'm going to leave in the description box if you are interested in this. And he has more than just, um, like, vintage video games. Uh, he has other stuff in his shop too, but I'm going to put a link in the description box. His name is Russ, and uh, he's got three, two little boys, and he has made a living off of doing what he does on eBay, and uh, I want you guys to check him out. He's got some neat stuff in his shop. I'm going to put a link in the description box. This guy deserves, just at the least, just look at his shop, okay? I'll put a link in the description box. Thank you, Russ. You are awesome, and I hope everything goes great for you. All right? <laughs> so check out his links in the description box, okay? So the second thing I want to show you guys is that uh, recently my husband made a real quick trip up to northern Wisconsin to check on our property and check on the progress of a well that we have to get put in. And he was on his way home. And he's told me, he said, honey, I'm going to stop at this antique store. And I was like, oh, okay, you know, that's awesome. If you happen to find these bears, I need these little bears. But anyway, uh, he texts me back and he, a couple hours later. And he's like, I didn't find anything, honey. I'm just on my way home. And I was like, all right, no big deal. So he gets home and I get to the truck. You know, as he pulls in, I'm coming out of the house to come and greet him. And, you know, because I hadn't seen him in a couple days. And he gets out and he's like, close your eyes. I was like, oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And he tells me to put my hands out, and this is what he gives me. For those of you that know, I am a huge Archie Bunker All in the Family fan. My husband made me watch it a couple years ago, and I fell in love with it. Which I knew Carol O'Connor already from uh, um, In the Heat of the Night. So, long story short, I live, my twin sister and I live with my grandma and my dad's mom for a while, and she was, you know, older, and she would always watch that all the time. So, I, that's how I knew Carol O'Connor, but I had never seen him in All in the Family, and I fell in love with him because, you know, it's kind of like the grandpa I didn't have <laughs> kind of thing. And anyway, so... So, you know, my husband's standing there and he's like, close your eyes, put out your hands. And I do. And he hands me a box. And this is what I open my eyes to. It's Archie Bunker's grandson. It's, it's a doll. And it's, this is in like perfect shape. And I was just, I just stared at it like, whoa. And then I opened it. And it had been opened, um, and then I I took the doll out and took everything out and cleaned it all up and put it back in its bag and took care of it. But this, this him, he is anatomically correct, so just, there you go, okay? I will try not to show his fancy bits, but I got him all cleaned up in his little bottle, and he comes with, t oh yeah, this had a hole in it. It comes with a little um, little blanket and two diapers because what you do is you fill his bottle with water and then you put it in his mouth and he pees. <laughs> and I was like, that is too cute. And then it comes with, I don't know if I can get this out. I don't want to mess everything up because I had it nice and neatly folded. 
it comes with this little uh, directions, I guess. It says, Joey Stivic is a baby boy, and just like all babies, he belongs with the family. He is delightful, charming baby. He's a delightful, charming baby with a handsome face and a winning smile. He's the closest thing to a baby brother a little girl could have. But like all babies, he too needs special care and attention. It's time to put baby baby's diaper on. Peel the tab from the diaper. Da, 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 da. Fill the bottle with water. Feed the baby boy when the baby's finished drinking. Wrap him in a blanket and hold your baby in his arms and birth him. After holding him upright for a while, he will wet his diaper. <laughs> and then you have to change his diaper. Copyright 1976. It's the year my husband was born. But yeah, so it comes with that. And I am definitely going to crochet him clothes. Ah! Uh, and, uh, there's something I wanted to read to you guys, because this kind of shocked me. I guess different times, right? But, get this back in the bag without messing up his blanket. Okay. There, oh, a little girl will love playing with mommy to a playing mommy to a baby boy for a change, especially sweet Joey Stivic with his blue eyes, rooted hair, soft vinyl skin, and winning smile. And I'm like, that is so cute. Gotta go, you know. And I pull it out, and I see that he is very anatomically correct. And I'm like, that's for a little girl. <laughs> that this kind of seems a little. Uh, let's not do that. <laughs> but like I said, this is gonna be a short. Well, I'm gonna show you guys one more thing that I found on Amazon. Anyway, so I was so super happy when I saw this because that is getting added to my Archie Bunker collection to go with my um, Dingbats Unite picture of Edith that we found at a, oh man, like a flea market thing in Northern Illinois, I think. It's been a while, but oh, I love that thing. So this is getting added to my collection. <laughs> but the other thing I wanted to show you real quick, I'm putting on my flip flop. Um, for those of you that saw the last video where I showed you that I found this on Etsy that I had found, that I had seen the ad advertisement for in the vintage magazine that I had been doing. And that I wanted to find bears to do this with. Well, I got on Amazon and I found something that's I think is a little bit cheaper than like these kind of bears because these are uh, Boyd, B O Y D. These are not cheap. Holy cow! Antique stores are like twenty five dollars, and then you know online they're just like I was just shocked by how much these were. But I found these on Amazon, and I think they're going to work. Um, they're 12 inches, and they've got the moving arms and legs and the head. And I think these are going to work. So I am going to try at some point. I don't know when, right? I can't really tell you when. But I'm going to try... Oh, excuse me. I'm going to try uh, one of these dresses, making it, and see if it'll fit on this little bear. But the other, oh, excuse me, I got the hiccups. They're really cute, and this comes right off, and that's a cute little bow. <laughs> anyway, that's it, you guys. I don't have much to talk about. Like I said, I've got this going on, this going on, this going on, and I just wanted to jump on here real quick and show you that baby and to tell you guys to check out Russ's eBay shop. This guy is awesome, I'm telling you. Um... He deserves just at the least you checking out his shop and seeing if there's anything that you're interested in on his, on his, uh, eBay shop. All right. I'm going to get off here cause I've got like 15 other things I got to get done today. Uh, you guys are the greatest hit, hit that thumbs up. If you enjoyed, uh, subscribe if you haven't, cause I promise I've got more coming. It's just, ah, I got to get the time <laughs> and, um, subscribe if you haven't. So you don't miss what's next. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys thought of every what my husband brought me home. <laughs> All right. You guys are the greatest, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.